If you're a former or current WordPerfect user, you'll probably remember a tool called Block Protect that allows you to keep all of a certain block of text together on a particular page. Microsoft Word has two tools that together are equivalent to WordPerfect's Block Protect feature, Keep with Next and Keep Lines Together. Here's how they work and what the difference between the two features is, plus how to diagnose problems with them. In a perfect world, your paragraph headings would never get separated from their paragraphs and pages would break just where you want them to. Unfortunately, with any word processor, you're bound to have oopsies like this. In WordPerfect, you'd use a feature called Block Protect. You'd select a block of text with your mouse or keyboard and protect it so it all shows up on the same page. Is Word that simple? Oh no. Microsoft has come up with multiple versions of Block Protect. To access this feature, you'll want to go to the Paragraph dialog box. By clicking the launcher arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the Paragraph section of either the Home or the Layout tabs. Okay, so what's the difference between each of these features and how do you know when to use one versus another? Widow Orphan Control helps keep a minimum of two lines of a paragraph together on the same page, so you don't have any stragglers over a page break. It's a good idea to select the entire text of your document with Control A and turn Widow Orphan Control on for the whole document. Keep Lines Together keeps two or more lines of a single paragraph together. In other words, it's keeping a block of text that doesn't have a hard return or line break but within the block all on the same page. Keep With Next keeps lines from separate paragraphs together on the same page, e.g. a heading and the first few lines of the following paragraph. It's for a block of text that has one or more hard returns in the middle of it. This, by the way, is my preferred setting for headings as it prevents the kind of oopsies that I showed you just a moment ago. And by adjusting that style, that will keep all heading ones next to their adjacent paragraphs. Page break before is pretty much what it says. It inserts a page break immediately before the current paragraph, whatever paragraph your cursor is in at the time you select this option. The differences between Keep With Next and Keep Lines Together are confusing to most users. If you're confused about which to use, you can check both boxes. It'll probably work just fine. If you've got Keep With Next or Keep Lines Together turned on for a particular block of text, you'll be able to see it by looking for the block character to the left of the first line of the paragraph. To see that non-printing character on your screen, however, you need to have Show Hide turned on. To do that, go to the Home tab and click the button near the middle of the ribbon that looks like a paragraph symbol. Once that's enabled, you'll see all non-printing characters on your screen, including the block signifying Keep With Next and Keep Lines Together. If you still don't, click on the File tab and click on Options, and under Display, make sure the box next to Show All Formatting Marks is checked. One caveat. Be sure you don't attempt to block protect too large a block of text, or you'll end up with pagination problems that result in large blocks of blank space in your documents. If that does happen, though, don't worry, it's easy to fix by selecting all the text in your document with Control A, and then clicking the launcher arrow in the lower right hand corner of the Paragraph command group on either the Home or Layout tabs and unchecking the boxes next to Keep With Next and Keep Lines Together. 
those boxes have a square in them rather than a check, you may have to click the box twice to ensure they're unchecked. Then click OK. At this point, you can reset your block protection to suit whatever you need to do.